Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm gonna go over the age old question, how many keywords should you have in an ad group? And you can really have as many keywords as you want, as long as they're relevant to the ad group, which is relevant to the actual ad copy. So if you have, you know, keywords like uh, fiberglass pool installation, your ad copy reads, fiberglass pool installation uh, near me or looking for fiberglass pool installation. Uh, and this is in a, you know, ad group that says fiberglass pool installation. You can have as many of those keywords as you want. The thing that becomes tricky is what about just a general pool installation keyword? Should that have its own ad group? And I would say yes, because pool installation as a keyword is very vague and that can mean a lot of things. And really people looking for pool installation might be looking for, you know, above ground pools, inflatable pools, in ground pools. There's just a lot of things these people could be looking for. So general pool installation, uh, that would be a keyword I'd really want to watch, have it in its own ad group. And it's very different than fiberglass pool installation, which is a very, very niche and specific offering that, that someone would be looking for as opposed to just general pool installation. Now, the same thing runs true with uh, vinyl pool installation. And I'll pull this up here. As long as our ads read vinyl pool installation, vinyl pool installation, you know, uh, this all is completely fine. And our keywords read vinyl pool installation. As you can see, vinyl pool installation near me or installers near me, vinyl pool installation, vinyl pool contractors near me. As long as all this is themed, you can have as many keywords as you want, as long as it relates back and it has a good message match. And essentially what message match means is the ad makes sense when someone types in the actual keyword. So when someone types in vinyl pool installation, they get an ad that says vinyl pool installation installers near me or looking for vinyl pool installation. It makes sense. The thing is, and this is generally the actual stress test I run all of our keywords through, is if someone typed this in and they saw the ad, would those two things make sense? Like if I typed in vinyl pool insulation and then inflatable pool insulation comes up, that doesn't make any sense. And I know that's a bit of an exaggeration, but a lot of companies, what they do is they'll put a whole bunch of keywords in one ad group. It'll be very generalized and they could have vi fiberglass pool insulation, vinyl pool insulation, and then they'll write one or two ads that just says pool insulation. And it doesn't really speak to the customer's problem. And what happens is you're going to have a very low click through rate because all your competitors are going to take the extra little bit of time to write vinyl pool insulation next to the ad. I know it doesn't seem like much, but it makes a huge difference because the more specific we can be to the customer's problem, the more likely they are to click on our ad, the higher our click through rate is going to be, the higher quality score is going to be in turn. This lowers our cost per click, which allows us to get more clicks and more leads in our account and puts us above the competition. So this is very important. Now to sum up how many keywords you can actually have in your ad group, as many keywords as you want, provided they're relevant to the ad copy. If you have, you know, vinyl pool installation, your ad copy reads vinyl pool installation, that's absolutely fine. But if your ad copy just reads general pool installation or looking for a pool, that's not specific enough and you would really want to consider creating a new ad group so you can more specifically target that. And again, it all comes down to how specific we can be to our customer and how much we can help them solve their problem when it comes to increasing our click-through rates, increasing our quality score, lowering our cost per click, and making our account a lot more successful. So if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about keywords or anything in Google Ads, leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer it. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.